Welcome to the mesmerizing world of the Northern Lights, Earth's very own celestial dance. The Northern Lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis, illuminate the skies close to the magnetic poles within an irregular oval centered over each pole. This astonishing phenomenon is named after the Roman goddess of dawn, Aurora, and the Greek name for the north wind, Boreas. Did you know the northern lights can appear in various colors, each influenced by the Earth's atmosphere? The most common color is a bright green, followed closely by pink streaks along the edges. Historically, the lights have been a source of many myths and legends around the Arctic Circle. Norse mythology suggests the lights come from the reflections of the shields and armor of the Valkyries. The science behind the Northern Lights involves collisions between electrically charged particles from the sun and particles in Earth's atmosphere. These collisions can occur up to 90 kilometers above the Earth's surface. However, during particularly strong solar storms, the northern lights can be seen as far south as Cuba. Interestingly, the sun goes through cycles of activity approximately every 11 years, influencing the frequency and intensity of the auroras. It's a lesser known fact that the southern hemisphere has its own version of auroras, known as the Aurora Australis, visible from high southern latitudes in Antarctica, South America, and Australia. The color variations of the northern lights depend on the type of gas particles that are colliding. Oxygen produces green and red, while nitrogen gives off blue and purple hues. The brightest auroras are often seen during the equinoxes in March and September, when geomagnetic storms are the strongest. Contrary to popular belief, auroras make a crackling and hissing noise that can sometimes be heard at ground level. Ancient Roman texts describe auroras as a harbinger of war and destruction, while some indigenous cultures saw them as spirits of the dead trying to communicate with the living. Aurora viewing is a significant tourist attraction in countries like Norway, Iceland, and Canada, contributing greatly to their local economies. Photographing the Northern Lights requires patience, as displays can last from a few minutes to several hours, but they can suddenly appear and disappear. The International Space Station, ISS, offers a unique vantage point for viewing auroras from above, showcasing their full scale and motion. Some animals, particularly dogs, seem to react to the Northern Lights, although the reasons remain unclear and debated among scientists. Despite their ethereal appearance, auroras can pose a threat to Earth's infrastructure by affecting satellite operations and power grids. There is a recorded instance in historical annals when an exceptionally bright aurora in 1582 illuminated the night sky so brightly that inhabitants of Paris woke up in a panic, thinking it was morning. In modern times, Forecasting auroras has become possible thanks to advances in solar observation and computational models predicting geomagnetic activity. Despite common misconceptions, summer is not the best time to view the northern lights in high latitude regions due to the prolonged daylight hours. One of the most remarkable displays of the northern lights occurred in 1859 during the Carrington event the most intense geomagnetic storm on record. Cultural interpretations of the Northern Lights vary significantly, with some seeing them as celebratory fires in the sky and others as omens of pestilence and famine. The indigenous Sami people of Scandinavia regarded the auroras as a gift from their ancestors, playing an important role in their spiritual and cultural life. Research conducted in the last decade suggests that auroras could possibly influence weather patterns by affecting the Earth's upper atmosphere. 
Expeditions to study the Northern Lights can involve everything from dog sledding and snowmobiling to modern aircraft equipped with scientific instruments. Lastly, amidst the cold, silent Arctic nights, the Northern Lights stand as a testament to the Earth's enduring mystique and beauty, inviting adventurers and scientists alike to ponder over its many untold stories.